I don't even really, I mean, it was a tough game. They, uh, I thought Florida was well prepared and did a re really good job facing off and uh, off their wings. They played with a lot of intensity and um, I, we just kept battling. I thought we, we scored some good goals in transition and kind of stayed with them a little bit. So it was, um, I think, j just beneficial for us to make sure that we capitalized on our chances. And, and, and coach, I talked to Coach Cottle earlier in the season, and um, it, it, I said, what's the key to this league? He said, you just got to be part of the Final Four, and then anything yeah. can happen. And, and this is a big win for you, and could you put you right back into contention? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, um, you know, to be four and five, we're kind of fighting our way uphill, but to be five and four um, with a home game next weekend, um, we're looking for, for try to get ourselves up there and, and hang with the big boys until until the end. But, you know, I like this team. They play with a lot of enthusiasm. We sure make mistakes at times, but um, they never give up and they play hard. I'm guessing that wasn't key lime pie. That was <laughs> definitely not whipped cream. It was shaving cream and it burned a little bit. Yeah, it does. That's, uh, that's why you don't put it in your eyes. <laughs> but and, and the gall of the rookie to do that, too. I didn't, who was it? You got to tell Stanwick. me. Stanwick. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, right? Good to know. All right, let's go through that last shot because that was a pretty remarkable shot. You put it where I don't think any goalie in the world could have stopped that. Uh, you know, I just had a great opportunity to step down from, I don't know, 10 yards. And then at that point in the game, I had no idea how much time was on the clock. I just knew that I had to get a shot off. And I just spent all my weeks in the summer preaching, painting the pipes to all my campers at, at summer camp. So I just fell back on the basics and fundamentals and, <laughs> and was lucky enough that it, it went in. And Maxi, you were the face of the, uh, the of the New York Lizards for years, and you know, in the off season, the big trade gets you up to Boston, and th this has got to be a big moment for you, and, and, and makes you really feel like you, you know this is your team. Yeah, I mean, this whole whole season has been a lot of fun. It's a great group, uh, starting from the top and in, in the organization, with the leadership, and then on, on down to the, the coaching staff, which is a lot of fun to play for. Coach Tuck, Coach Slate, Coach Murph. And then, you know, the rest of the guys on the team, we've got some vets, but we've got a, a great group of young guys, all willing to, to play within, you know, the scheme, what the what the coaches are asking of us. And, you know, today we, we I think we, we dressed maybe four poles, and we were running eight eight or nine guys at the midfield. And, and he just said, you know, get up and down and run. That's, that's going to be uh, what's going to win us the, the game, and, and we're going to wear him down. And, you know, we, we, we stuck to that. Even even though we went down a couple, we went up a couple, it was back and forth, and, you know, we got it. So that's all that matters. Well, the other thing that Kevin talked about with Coach Tucker, and we'll talk with you briefly, is the significance of sort of inserting you guys into that playoff race now, got five and four heading home to play Chesapeake. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're all playing with a sense of urgency. Every time we come out here, we're we're looking to compete. And the last regular season game we had up in Rochester was not the performance we were looking for. Uh, but with some new young guys like Tuck, uh, like Stanwick, uh, and now picking up Hawkins is, is just a nice little spark to have. And, and you know, we're confident we can beat any team in the league. Uh, well, so so we're, we're going to keep pushing and hopefully make a, make a nice push for the playoffs. Definitely a team to watch for the rest of the year. Congratulations, Max, on a great win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Maxi Ball joining us here.